bloody windy very windy well good afternoon happy people and you join me on the A47 heading towards Great Yarmouth and this is the beginning of a little solo mini tour that I'm going to be doing I decided that after that last ride that I was going to book a park day in caravan for myself which I have done I've got a whole eight berth caravan to myself this time cheap as chips it is I think it's cost me about 135 quid altogether for four nights and I'm going to be staying at um, Braden Water Park Dane Holiday Resort Braden Water I think it's two or three miles away from uh, Great Yarmouth I've not filmed anything up to now because it's just been uh, quite a boring run actually just a means to get there really I've just gone down the A15, then onto the A17, and now this A47. They're like the three main roads that's going to get me there. I can see a big wheel over there. Must be on the seafront. Yeah, so I'm going to be here for uh, four nights, of which um, three of the days I'm going to be doing some routes. Well, I've planned two routes, and they're uh, out of those books by my mate Simon Weir tell you what they are on each day that we come to do them. We come to do them. I. It's just an I. There is no uh, crew this time. Uh, a big sign there says Great Yarmouth. Yeah, so I've been looking forward to this because like I said, the Viking gods haven't been with me this year at all. Not been able to do any touring, so I thought I'm going to spoil my sen and go for it. Spoil my sen. 130 quid. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's threatened rain all the way down, but I ain't actually had any. But anyway, I'll uh, connect back up with you when I get to my uh, Park Dean Holiday Resort. Braid and water. In a bit. Don't think I can actually get into my uh, caravan well at 4 o'clock, and it's, uh, what is it now, 20 past 3. Not that I've made brilliant time, I did set off plenty early like, and uh, like I say, not brilliant roads getting here, but the holiday park is on Butt Lane. <laughs> nice name, Butt Lane. Now, this is the local boozer, the Queen's Head. Fellow biker there having a pint outside. Here we are, look. Braden Water Holiday Park. Yeah, village. Now then, where's reception? Reception up ahead. Mini go-kart track there, look. Spider-Man one. We'll just park up here and see what the crack is. Of course, there's about three or four people here, happy days. Hiya, yeah. booked in Clark. And Clark? This one just here. So, you're going to go straight on. Yeah. And the first right, first left. And it's just there. Very close to where we are now. Where will I be able to park my motorbike? Uh, yeah, right outside your cabin. Will I? Oh, happy days. <laughs> so that's out of here. First right, first left, and I'm there. Yeah, literally, the, the, the right is going to take you to sit you there. Right, and is the caravan key in there? Side. Right. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you very much. Yeah. Twelve. Hadrian's Walk is my new address. No, we're back down here, all right. Happy days. Sorted. Ground should be rock hard. Might bother puck under it just to double it up, just to make sure, but. <laughs> oh, yes.
Right, I'll just give you a quick tour of the uh, caravan lads. And ladies, of course. Double bedroom. This is normally what Muzzy has. But today, we've been on my own and having the old place to me joint to me send like. Double bedroom is mine. Happy days. Of course, there's the uh, little twin singles. Two of them, one there. One there. Get a little wardrobe. And single toilet with a basin. And then next to that, another toilet, another basin, and a shower. All lovely and clean. And a well, it's not a mirror, it's just a portrait of one handsome guy. And come out into the uh, lounge area in the kitchen. This is the kitchen area. All cupboards full of plots, plates, plots, pots as well. Microwave, fridge. Freeze it, motorbike boots, and then behind me is my lounge. It's beautiful, totally fixed up on the wall, big L shaped sofa for me. I think it'll be big enough for me, Sam. Cupboard and shelves, more seating area there on a the table. My old MacBook and my roots on. Little puffies to put your feet up as I'm watching Telly tonight. So, yeah, happy days. One massive eight berth caravan. Poor moi. That's a quick look at uh, my accommodation while I'm here. I think I'll be alright and comfortable. This is the remains of a Roman fortress. I was just talking to a lady in the arcade stall, who was a local, and she says, go for a walk where the dog walkers go. And she says, the sunsets are beautiful, the Roman fortress is gorgeous. And wow, that is quite something, that Roman fortress. And she thinks that if we walk through to the end, you see a view for over the um, Norfolk Broads, which is quite stunning. So I'll walk a bit further and maybe video a bit more for you. Well, that's just beautiful. This is more of the wall, close up down the side. Down here, there's a bit that looks like it's going to uh, keel over at any point. It looks quite dangerous, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to keep well clear of that. It looks like it could drop at any time. But uh, yeah, we'll keep having a look, we'll keep walking. Yeah, I'm staying clear of this. Ooh. And then apparently, a walk through here. Oh, I can see now. Oh yeah, Norfolk Broads. And now we're inside the fortress walls. This is the view after the castle, fortress, sorry. Typical Norfolk Broads. There's a windmill over there, I don't know if you can see it. This is just stunning. Beautiful sunset. True piece of Norfolk, this. Beautiful. A lovely sunset. Hmm. You've been here before then? Oh, he's taking a picture. I never thought to do that. I haven't got that on mine. He goes touring on his motorbike. Oh, you're on your bike touring. Yeah. It was just absolutely beautiful. There's some actual sailboats now just sailing down the uh, water. Gorgeous. Cool, 